Okay, so I have a fun one that was uh, a little bit recent, not like you know yesterday, but it was it was like yeah. four years ago probably. Yeah. I was like 18, and uh, I was working at a window factory, and as you do, yeah, as you do, because <laughs> that's what we, we did at the time. <laughs> working at a window factory, and uh, I carpooled to work with everybody because I didn't have a car at this point, uh-huh. and so everybody was coming to pick me up, and they were running late this day, so they were like, "Hey, can you meet us at the edge of your neighborhood?" So I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure." It was kind of farther, so I didn't want to like walk there and have possibly miss them yeah and so I grabbed my skateboard and I went to go uh, down there and meet them at the end of this, the neighborhood and but there's just like straightaway part where it's just like you can get like maximum speedage down there yeah and so I was just fucking just like cranking it down there just like pushing my skateboard and just flying down there and I, I fucking I hit the most petite little rock <laughs> and, and it, oh my, dude like I, I hit it and it was like it was like freeze frame it was like <laughs> And I was like in the air, and it was just like, oh no! It was like, what does my life become? <laughs> it was like, everything I've ever done flashed before me. And it was yeah. just like, what is my life? Like I, I haven't done anything with my life. Oh, this is no. this is this is it for me. I'm yeah. just like flying through the air, and I'm like seeing the neighborhood, <laughs> just like <laughs> looking into people's houses and like seeing families. And I'm like, I don't have a family. Like, oh, oh, this is it. This is it for me. <laughs> just going through the air. And I like look over, and there's this mail car or like a mail delivery truck. Yeah. And he's just like watching me. Me, like fly through the air <laughs> and like we see each other and he's just like god help you like, and, and dude I, fuck, I hit all the, this all in like <laughs> literally a half a second all, yeah, it was, well, it, yeah it was like I hit it and just like <laughs> and just, all of this was just cycling through my mind and dude I hit the ground with like this part of my arm oh. and dude I slid like five feet oh, on just no. my my arm it was like <laughs> <laughs> and oh, like as I'm so... like grinding the meat off my arm, I'm still looking at this male guy, and he's just like, no, like, no. <laughs> no. he's like I'm watching someone die right now. He wasn't ready. Like, he's, he saw me realize my skin was being taken from me. And he's just like, oh my god, <laughs> and so I just like hit the ground and like. I just like lose all the breath I had. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my oh, fucking god, man. and then I get up and like my arm like goes like, and like comes oh. off of the pavement. It was oh. like it was like having your arm stuck to like a like a hot iron. Oh no. And just yeah, I peeled up and dude like from here to my elbow was just missing. Oh <laughs> like, god. Of skin. Oh yeah, it was oh, so that's gnarly. terrible. And, and mind you, this is me going to work. Like, yeah, right. And, and then I, I go up to the there and I wait like at a bus stop. Basically, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> just like waiting, holding my skateboard, bleeding. And then the guys pull up, and I'm just like, I just look like a fucking disaster. <laughs> and they're like, what happened to you? I'm like, just go to work, man. <laughs> just like dying. And they're like, okay, what's happening? You're like bleeding profusely. Like, do you want to like go home? Like, no, I can't. I need to make. We need to go to work. And I get to work, and then I'm like, hey. So like I have a problem, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, it's pretty fucking apparent." Uh, and then he's like, "Well, here, let me see it." And then he's like, "Where does it hurt?" I was like, "Right here." And then I, where I, does it hurt? I know, right? Where I have no flesh is where it hurts. <laughs> so as I'm explaining to the lead where this is, the supervisor was also there, and he, unbeknownst to me, grabbed the bottle of cleaning alcohol. Oh. And I was like, yeah, it's like right here. And he's like, oh, right here. And he dumps an open like spray bottle of just like rubbing alcohol down my fucking wound. Oh, man. And I was just like, oh, 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 this is not okay. It's like, oh, my fucking God. And I'm in front of like, you know, like 12 full grown people. So yeah, I'm, right. I'm not trying to like cry, but I'm like, oh, yeah. it's like, it's not even that bad. So, yeah, that was, it was so fucking bad. Oh, and it's the whole no. day I had to like go and get like ibuprofen throughout the day. And just, oh no. That yeah, was so gnarly. I don't know how I don't have like a scar from that. Well, I guess I kind of like have like white spots. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't leave much of a scar, but it was like with the gnarliest skateboarding accident I've ever had. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that was, that was so I weird. like how your entire life was almost ended by the most petite <laughs> Rock. Dude, I, I saw the skid mark afterwards too. It's probably still in that neighborhood. It was, oh, it's like no. the landmark of the. Yeah. It, it was like it, for me, it felt like I like I skid like instantly, but I looked back and the skid mark was like, <laughs> just, like I hit it was like, <laughs> blue. But to me, it was like. <laughs> It's like they put up like flowers and stuff, yeah, and like, like in remember, in remembrance of Austin Dickey's arm flesh. The, the male guy thought I died for sure. Dude, I like to think that he went like home and told his wife about you know witnessing like <laughs> My the, death. the kid that like completely biffed it on his skateboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure that was his highlight. I was about to say like that's what him and his wife talked about before they fought. <laughs> yeah, before they yelled at each other. <laughs> you need to make more money, George. You've been a mailman for 27 years. He's like, yeah, well, but, okay, no, but listen to the story. Let me tell you about this kid. Fucking doofus! He fucking ate it so hard. 
I mean, yeah, he was a kid, but like, you yeah, know. Yeah, at least I'm was, not doing that, Debra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could be doing worse. I could, you know, be still doing skateboard stuff. <laughs> I mounted to something, Margaret. <laughs> like. Margaret. I wish she was Debra for me and Margaret <laughs> yeah. for you. <laughs> Deborah's Margaret my go-to. just sounds like the typical like mailman wife that always just the, like the typical mailman wife, <laughs> you know, that just drinks like a lot of wine but always complains that she doesn't have enough. Oh yeah, or you like, know, or like, like says that her husband like never like treats her right or like or he drinks too much and then while she's drinking a fat exactly, glass, of wine, yeah. I only drink with dinner. Yeah. Like, yeah, but we eat dinner every day, Deborah. <laughs> so it's like, right. what's your excuse? Some of you might know I have a scar. Is it on my left cheek? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I have a, a little L scar on my left cheek. And the way I got that is I was about probably two or three years old. I was very, very young. And back then my mom had a farm and she had horses and she had this one horse. It was a really good horse. We had it for many, many years. And uh, she had me on uh, the horse's back and we were riding it through our property. Mm -hmm. You know, it was typical farmer thing to do. Typical white kid thing exactly, to do. Exactly, <laughs> right. Um, so we're doing that and then we're going through uh, these trees and uh, the horse goes like right next to this tree and there's this branch. It's like a, I don't know what kind of tree it was, but it had really uh, like prickly oh, yeah, branches, really like really sharp branches. And so it hit me in the face and so when it hit me, it hit me down uh, here, or hit me right here, and then I fell back, and it cut <clears> down <throat> my face, and then I fell over, oh, and it geez. sliced over. Jesus. And then I fell from the horse onto the ground. And mind you, I'm like two or three years old, you know? And so my mom's like freaking out, like, oh my God, like, oh, we gotta go inside, you know? You're dying. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's that's a little short story on how I got uh, my really scars. Weird. I fell off. So you've off had horse. that since you were two. Yeah, that's gnarly. Yeah, um, had it for a long time. It must have been a huge scar because it's still pretty. It was. It's pretty big on you now. So I mean, I yeah. assumed it like had had grown with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a it was a pretty deep gash. Yes. Yeah, I had it like it hurt for quite a long time. But yeah, it's weird how you remember certain things when you're two or three years old, but yeah. like other things you just have no idea. Like I remember this one time we were at this Burger King and the only memory I have is I was sitting in a booster chair. And again, I was probably two or three years old. Yeah. And I just remember throwing up and I remember the throw up looked like cat food. Oh. Like little, like little dry, little like pieces yeah. of cat food. And I remember that very vividly. Mm -hmm. I know that that happened. <clears throat> But like I can't remember anything else, like the ride there, the ride home, yeah, like it's any just like other little things. Key things like that. Exactly. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's just like traumatizing experiences you remember when you're a kid, and like nothing else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's. Uh, you only make room for what's important. I remember my my scar for sure. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got injured a lot when I was a kid. Like we could go for fucking hours about these injury stories with yeah. me. Uh, <clears throat> this one's a fun one. I have a scar on the bottom of my chin right here. Uh -huh. uh, it, it just looks What's like it playing stitches from playing Nerf. <laughs> yeah, Nerf I know, right? Roulette. Yeah, it's in the shape of like stitches though, and it's just this right across here because yeah. I, I had to get stitches for it. But um, so I was at the park. I was over at my grandma's, and it was me and my grandma and my sister, and mm -hmm. we were going to the park to walk my grandma's dog. And uh, it was the middle of summertime, so you know, in summer attire, and I had like flip flops on and shit. And so I climbed this tree uh, in the park, and I was pr up pretty high in the tree. And my grandma was like, "Austin, you get out of that tree. You know, you gotta stop climbing that tree." And I was just like, "Fuck you, grandma! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep climbing the tree." I was, I was like six, maybe or something, yeah, right. maybe a little bit older, like nine or something. Yeah, definitely not seven or eight. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I was up in this tree and I was just being this little rebellious fuck, and I was like, I climbed up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play up here, like fuck off. Yeah. And then, fuck off, grandma. Yeah, I was like fuck off, grandma. <laughs> she's like, no, you need to get down from there. You're gonna get hurt. And I was just like, screw you. Grandma. I don't get hurt, <laughs> yeah, grandma. Like, I'm invincible, grandma. And so, <laughs> like as she's saying this, I go, I'm standing on this big branch, and there's another branch right here, and I was gonna jump and grab the branch and then jump onto another yeah. branch because I was Tarzan. Yeah. Uh, so I go to jump and again, I'm wearing flip flops, like the really cheap oh, ones no. that if you yank too hard, the bottom will come up. Yeah. So I go to jump with all of my force and the shoes gave, so I didn't go anywhere. Oh, so like no. I went to jump and the shoes broke. So like, instead of leaping, I just, 
<laughs> it just went straight down. <laughs> so like all my momentum that I had to go forward ended up propelling me downward. Yeah. And I just fell straight into the ground and there was this tree root coming up and I smacked my chin on oh. it. And it, it chipped out a piece of my jaw. Oh, no. And I had like this little sliver of bone like sticking oh, out of my, my jaw. Oh, man. <laughs> and it was just full of like bark and bone and blood and dirt. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> my grandma's like, I, I told you, you were gonna get hurt. Like, this is no time for semantics, grandma. Like, <laughs> I, I'm dying. I don't need you to be a smart ass. She's all laughing yeah, at I you. Yeah, like, I fucking told you. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, so I was like bleeding out of my face. And then I was like, my, my sister was there and I was like, hey, I'm gonna grab, I need your jacket. I'm bleeding, I'm gonna die. And she's like, no, fuck you. I'm not, you're not gonna get blood on my jacket. Oh, God. And so she wouldn't give it to me. So I'm just sitting there just like pouring blood out of my face. Oh. And I'm like, what do I do? And she's like, I don't know, but you shouldn't have climbed the tree. And you should like, listen. Everyone's just rubbing it in my face that I'm like bleeding. You have a bone sticking yeah. out, and they're like, ha ha, look like, at oh, you. You got fucking roasted, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so I went to go to the, the doctor's office, and he's like taking tweezers and like pulling bark out of my face. Oh, no. And the dude fucking grabs the bone, and it wasn't fully oh. separated. And he fucking like. Oh. He just snapped the bone oh. out. And I was like, ah! I was like what was that? <laughs> he's like, oh, that was, he's like, that was bone. He didn't he, know no, that he, was he, a bone? He didn't know. He didn't realize because it was bloody. Like, oh. every, everything was red. So he thought it was another, he thought it was like a, a, like a piece of bark lodged in my chin. Oh, no. And he yanked it out. And he's like, oh, shit, that was bone. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. fine. I'm, I'm really fine. good. Thank you. Yeah, and then he stitched it all up. And then it was fine after that. But yeah, I don't. I have a piece of bone missing from my chin. Now, like if you feel it, there's just this chunk missing right uh, in here. So yeah, that was a. That's just one of those things I have now. I have a scar from it, and I'm missing a piece of bone from it. Dude, I uh, when I was younger, I had a really bad uh, problem with one of my teeth, and that's actually one reason why I have a tooth. Uh, there's a. Which side is it? This side. I have a tooth that's missing, and I can't do anything about it uh -huh. because it's literally gone. Yeah. Um. So it had. I had a really bad toothache for a few days. My mom took me to the dentist. Because, you know, that's what you do. Yeah. And obviously. so I get there and he's like, yeah, you know, it, it looks like infected. We're going to have to pull it. And my mom was like, are you sure? Like, you know, can't we just do something else? And he's like, no, we're going to have to pull it. So this asshole oh, dentist God. did not numb me up or anything. Oh, no. He literally just started like, I mean, I was very young. I don't remember exactly like what happened, yeah. but he just started like pulling it. Why? And he like kind of cut around it, and he pulled it out, and he pulled the root. It oh. was it was an adult tooth, mm -hmm. and he thought it was a baby tooth. So he was oh, like, oh, so he, oh, yeah, we'll just pull it out, and then you're. Oh, so he thought it was just gonna come right out. Yeah, and it just for sure did. Exactly. Yeah, that's why he was like, oh yeah, we'll just rip it out because it's a baby tooth. Well, it wasn't a baby tooth. It was my full adult tooth. And he ripped it out from the root. Oh my god. So that's why I have no tooth there is because this asshole dentist who didn't know what he was talking about was like, yeah, let's pull this kid's tooth out because, oh you god. know, he's in pain and obviously that's, you know, the way it's going to work. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't, you know, that's, that's the story of my missing tooth right there. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's super fucked up. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode Woo! of us telling stories of our injuries. We have a lot more injuries that we'll probably tell you guys. So if you enjoy it, hit that like button and please subscribe to see more videos. And thank you again so much for watching. If there's a video game you want to see us play, let us know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, play that game and tell more stories. See y'all later. Bye.